What's good YouTube, it's your boy The Fourth Ken, and I'm back here with another video. I know a lot of people teach you how to do a taper, a fade, but today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to do a shape up. So we're gonna jump straight into it. The first step to get a nice symmetrical flawless shape up is to taper the hairline. So what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the two guard and taking down his front line with the green. Next, since you did that, it's gonna create a transitional barrier and to get that out, you're gonna to wanna to freehand it with your Andis Masters. Next, I'm gonna take my Andis Masters with my one guard with the lever open, and I'm just grazing it. I'm not really pressing too hard. I'm grazing it. I don't wanna to take too much off the front because then it's gonna look ugly and weird. Applying alcohol to his skin really cleanses his skin. This isn't really for the hair, this is really for that area between the hair and the skin. And next I'm gonna apply some hairspray. Now that's for his hair. It's to stiffen up his hair, but notice how I'm combing it while blow drying it. This is gonna relax the hair and return it to its natural state. So, take your notebooks out, your pen and your papers, let's get to it. So, I'm starting in the middle. Do you have to? No. I like to though. It makes more sense. You're, it's basically a blueprint, a cheat code. So it doesn't matter what clippers you use, make sure they're sharp, not too sharp. Notice how I'm holding his head. And notice how I'm combing as I go. That's the key. You can do an entire shape up, especially with straight hair. You can do the whole shape up, it's crispy. You go back and brush it or comb it, it's done. It ain't crispy no more. So look at it right now. It looks crispy, but can you tell that it's crooked? It is. Watch as I go back and adjust that line. You can tell from the side angle if a line's crooked or not. Notice how I'm tapping it. I'm not going side to side, I'm going up and down. And in the corner, you wanna be careful not to push that back. The corner, that's another blueprint area because it's like, it determines how your vertical bar is gonna come out and it determines if you're gonna push the, the front hairline back even further. And for those of you guys wondering why my clipper looks like this, my gold babblers broke randomly one day. Like I left them charging overnight and they just broke. Like the, they didn't turn on. So I just took the blade off and put it on a pair of my, uh, I think they're the influencer trimmers and they work fine. I really like that blade. So that's why I was like, I had to keep it. But I switched to this blade because the difference between those two blades. So the gold blade has thinner teeth. The black blade, the Patty Cuts trimmer, that has thicker teeth. So that's mainly for like cutting a lot of bulk if you're about to start a bald fade or something, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're cutting a client with straight hair, that's for those type of clients. So notice how I'm positioning myself in the middle so that I can see his left side, his right side in the middle. That way you have the matching vertical bars, the matching corners, all that. Once you do the whole line, you want to go back. You want to put, tilt their head in different types of angles, just so you can get a better glimpse from different perspectives, how their hairline's actually looking. Because sometimes from a barber's view, it looks fine. You look at them eye to eye, it's crooked. So you want to adjust their head, you know what I'm saying? Turn it in different directions. And this is how it's looking before enhancement. We are gonna add enhancements, even though he really doesn't need it. He really likes it, so, you know, we're just doing what the client wants. Notice how I'm not spraying a lot. And notice how I'm not spraying in the areas that are naturally darker. 
You're just gonna ruin the haircut by doing that. I'm spraying in the spots that were light, that were lighter than the other ones. So that right side, his right vertical bar, I'm not even gonna spray it. Cause like, it's already dark. It looks fine. The other one didn't match up to it. So that's why you wanna match it up. But once it's matched up, why go and over spray the other one? Makes no sense. That's self-destruction. Right here, we're gonna get started on our razor work. Shout out to Easy Blade Shaving Products. Head over to their website and use my promo code, the fourth Ken, for 10% off your order. They have shaving gel, razors, capes, all types of stuff. Go check them out and make sure you use my promo code. So notice how we're stretching the skin. Also notice my blade. It's not all the way expo exposed, but it's tucked just enough. And this really allows me to get a precise ash line without getting too bulky of an ash line. And it's basically just dust on the skin. And I'm stretching the skin, making sure I'm not rushing. Because when you rush, you will cut your client. That's very uncomfortable. If you cut a client like a little nick, I mean, some clients will be fine with it, but if you really gash them and give them an open cut, I don't know what to tell you, man. That's a free cut automatically and you might get sued. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing. But uh, yeah, just make sure you stretch the skin and you'll be fine. I don't, I don't really personally like using shave gel unless it's for like a beard, but. So this is how it's looking. It's crispy, it's symmetrical. All the sides match up and enhancements weren't overused. Um, the hairline complements his head shape. Now, when you look at it right here, does it look super, super straight? No, but when you look at him from this angle, it's gonna look super straight because the angle that I showed you guys at first, that was a barber's angle. And certain clients have hairlines that are in a rainbow type shape, you know what I'm saying? But this is the cut. Make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow my Instagram at the fourth Ken and check out my other videos. And it's the fourth Ken and I'm out. Peace.